Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. This is Wisdom 365, Wisdom for Every Day. Let us pray. Father God, thank you so much, my Father, that you express your care to us in so many ways, my God. Thank you that your wings draw us closer to your heart in your care, my God. You know every movement, you know every need, you hear the cries of our heart, and you feel our every heartbeat. My Lord God, thank you so much, my Father, that you express your love and your care in so many different ways, my God. We see it all around us, oh God. We see the creation, we see every color, every hue, my God, of every sunrise and of every sunset, my Father. Sometimes the sunrise, they're pink, and sometimes they are white with flashes of yellow. And the sunsets can be from pink to blue to fiery red to orange, my God. What a beautiful, beautiful love, my God, expressed through colors, expressed through nature, expressed through everything that you have made, my Father, how you have made, my God, the birds and how they pollinate the plants and how other plants are formed and how they grow and they are seeded, my Father, and then they grow to beautiful and big trees, my Father, oak trees and palm trees and that is what you want for us for us to grow and mature and become palm trees that are unmoving my god tall and strong and mighty and that is what you want for each and every one of your sons and daughters my father as we believe in you as we trust in you as we father god read your word my father and as we make a decision every day, my God, that we are going to believe every syllable and every consonant that is in that Bible, my Father. Thank you so much, my God. Uh, 2 Peter 1, 5 through 6 talks about character building. And character building takes time. And it reads, for this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with goodness, goodness with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, endurance with godliness. Character is built slowly over a lifetime. It is the sum of every right decision, every honest word, every noble thought, and every heartfelt prayer. It is forged on the anvil of honorable work and polished by the twin virtues of generosity and humility. Character is a precious thing, difficult to build, but so easy to tear down. As believers in Christ, we must seek to live each day with discipline, honesty, and faith. When we do, integrity becomes a habit and God smiles. There is something about having endured great loss that brings purity of purpose and strength of character. Each one of us is a special work of art. Through us, he teaches and inspires and delights and encourages. He informs and uplifts all those who view our lives. God, the master artist, is most importantly concerned about expressing himself, his thoughts and his intentions through what he paints in our character. Father God, thank you so much, my Father, that you are the master artist, my God. You are painting beautiful tapestries in our lives, oh God. You're painting, my Father, everything from good to bad to very good, my Father. And everything has a purpose and a plan for you work together everything for the good of those who love you. And we thank you on this day. I thank you, Father God, for every one of my subscribers. I thank you for every person listening to this audio. I ask you to bless them. I ask you to bless their family. I ask you to bless my father, their jobs, my God. I ask you to bless their table, God, my father, in the name of Jesus, my friend. If you're listening to this message, 
I send much love. I pray that you are blessed. And remember to play in the sunshine and dance in the rain. But most of all, remember to smile. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day. The goodness of God is all around us. And if you want to receive and to be able to enjoy the goodness of God and all that it entails, the blessings, the peace, the joy, I invite you to receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. The goodness of God is available to you today. If you have not received Jesus, do not wait. Do it today. Do not wait to be perfect or rich. Do not wait to have a bigger house or a better job and have everything right in your life. Do it today, my friend. It is my honor to lead you in this prayer. And you might think that this is so simple. How can a simple prayer make something so important like receiving Jesus as my Lord and Savior? How can that be? Jesus made this process so easy. And yet it is so powerful. So follow me in this prayer. Father God, thank you so much for Jesus Christ, your son. I believe that he died and he bled and that he resurrected on the third day. I realize that I am a sinner and I ask you forgiveness for my sins. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. Make something wonderful of my life as I promise to follow you from this day forward. Amen. My friend, if you've done that prayer, if you've said that prayer, there is a celebration in heaven as heaven celebrates with the repentance of every sinner. Congratulations. You are now part of the family of God.